Hello friends, how's it going? I'm Alex Arx and today I'm bringing you some more Destiny. And in this video I'm going to be showing off my level 32 Warlock. I have him right here. And in my previous videos I've been showing off my level 32 Hunter and level 32 Titan. So from this DLC, the Dark Below and Crotor's End Raid, I've managed to get myself three different level 32 characters. So I'm pretty chuffed about that. Um, and it's all come just before the Hard Raid has been released for Crotor's End. So I'm I'm in good stead for, for doing all the Hard Raids with all three of my characters. So let's jump into it and let me show you my level 32 Warlock. So here we go. You can see I'm running an, a legendary helm. Uh, legendary chest and leg piece of armor and I'm running exotic gauntlets now first and foremost I'd like to say that this is 100% down to the the basically just what drops I got from the Crotor's End raid uh, my first drops were in fact the helm the chest piece and the legs and fittingly the claws of Ahamkara were the best exotic to f put in the gauntlets um, so this uh, bit of raid gauntlet here that I do have now. Um, I didn't have this when I was getting my level 32 build so <clears throat> this is why I haven't really got this leveled up yet. I haven't got the shards to level it but this will form part of my level 32 build so I can basically switch out my exotics and have you know whichever helm I want in that place. But at the moment this is my level 32 build and it's actually a really decent build. Nice spread of stats you can see here. My intellect um, current boost 75%, discipline I've got 77%, and strength is 45%. Now, I don't really play as Warlocks much, so I've I've kind of been chopping and changing between Voidwalker and Sunsinger. I prefer Sunsinger for, for, for raids and for Nightfall, basically just because it gives you that insurance policy, because you can resurrect if you die. Um... <clears throat> Now, uh, looking at my helm, you can see here I have the Death Singer's Gaze. This is a drop from Crota himself. You can see here we've got increased th grenade throw distance, gain a temporary increase to weapon damage while Oversoul's Gaze is active. This is a raid-only mechanic. Uh, if you die in the Crota fight, the Oversoul will appear. It's basically just a giant oracle. Um, so that just gives me t a temporary increase to weapon damage during that phase. And you can see that I also replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. Now, ideally, um, you know, I, I'll be running Sunsinger with this helm. I do have Light Beyond Nemesis, however. It's it's more for PvP because you get to res quicker, spawn more orbs, etc, etc. Um, I'd probably much rather be using Obsidian Mind if I could. Um, this is a DLC exotic helm. Um, basically, you get increased super energy from killing minions of the darkness and nova bomb kills reduce the cooldown of your next nova bomb so with the void walker you get a nova bomb as, as your super and if you can use that on the thrall during the raid you can basically spam your super over and over again because every time you pop your super you're going to kill enough enemies uh, with this helm that gives you enough super energy back so you can use your super again so you can basically use your super endlessly if you use it in the right places um, but f you know for the time being I'm quite happy just running Death Singer's Gaze and because of that uh, it's, uh, Sun Singer just makes a lot more sense for me um, moving on to the gauntlets like I mentioned Claws of Ahamkara this is an exotic we uh, piece of gear that comes from the DLC and you can see here I've got some this is a weird kind of exotic because it bridges both the classes of warlock you can have you can see here we can gain additional charge for scorch and energy drain so scorch is a sun singer perk whereas uh, energy drain is a void walker perk so in fact this class this uh, piece of gear I have right here is really beneficial for both the classes usually an, an exotic will be really helpful and powerful towards a certain build either sun singer or void walker whereas however this piece of gear it gives benefits to both of those classes so it's it's kind of loose you can use it either way you want so this is why i've gone with the claws of ahamkara and not only that it gives fairly good split for intellect and discipline um, while giving you a bonus on your kind of melee attack 
there. Um, moving on, I, I've got the raid chest piece of armor, the Death Singer's Mantle. And you can see we have a in temporary increase to reload speed while the Oversoul's Gaze is active. And we can carry more ammo for scout rifle and shotguns. Um, there's not really much to say about this piece of gear. It is a fairly solid uh, piece with decent uh, intellect stat on it. Could be a lot worse, could be better. Um, you can see I also have the Starfire Protocol exotic chest armor here, but I haven't really used it. And you can see there again an additional fusion grenade, fusion rifles, heavy weapons. It's uh, it's a specific uh, piece for for the Void Walker class. So I I don't know whether I'll be I'll be running this uh, really. There are much better exotics to run Obsidian Mind for one and Claws of Ham Kara. So. I'll probably maybe not use the Starfire Protocol at all, but I've got it there just in case uh, I need it. Um, finally, to top off the build, I have the Death Singer's Herald Leg Armor. Uh, we've got a really decent discipline stat on that, and we can carry more ammo for heavy weapons, and we gain a temporary increase to agility while carrying the sword of a hive sword bearer. <coughs> so basically, you know, this piece of legs, like I think many of the other leg uh, pieces of gear from the raid, you get bonus ammo for heavy weapons, which is an extra shot. So the benefit isn't that great, to be fair. If it's a rocket launcher, you are getting a big benefit of having an extra rocket, but not if you, you're an MG user. But uh, the major one there is the, the extra agility while carrying the sword. So definitely for the raid, attacking Crota and all that, having that extra speed while you're carrying the sword is definitely a bonus there. So this is basically my Warlock, my level 32 Warlock. Um, I will eventually with time level up those Death Singer's grips, but at the moment the Claws of Ham Car are pretty decent. Um, you know, it gives me uh, two basically slot two slots for my melee attack so I can run Scorch, I can life drain. I think I've actually got Brimstone on in fact. So when I use my melee attack here, yeah, Scorch, basically the the melee high five that the Warlock has in the Sun Singer class, I can use that to make enemies explode and I can do that twice before it needs to regen. Or well it regens anyway, but you know what I mean. I get two goes at it instead of one. So that's pretty beneficial. So I quite like those arms. I quite like the stat rolls I've got. It's a fairly nice spread for what I like to play with. I like, I like the intellect. I do, like I've said in my other videos, I'm not a massive fan on grenades, but I suppose if I'm going to have one over the other, I much prefer to have grenades and discipline over strength and the melee attacks. But there we go. I mean, it's a fairly decent split um, across the entire class, so it's really beneficial as a build. Um, you know, I've not really, I've n never, never struggled with this class. To be fair, um, you know, the Sun Singer, because of that um, resurrection ability I have, Fireborn, it is really handy for nightfalls and raids. Going down, you can res yourself and get back into the fight. Um, so, as far as a class goes, I mean, I find this really beneficial as a, almost a get out of jail free card, if you are um, doing nightfalls and stuff. If you do go down, you can just self-res and you don't get booted back to orbit, which is always a bonus, especially in the nightfall. Um, but yeah, Warlock, fairly solid class. Um, not my primary class, like I've mentioned before, my Titan is my main character, but um, you know, I, I couldn't really play without the Warlock. Um, a lot of people, like I've mentioned, have got two or three of the same class of character, like they'll have three hunters or whatever. And obviously that makes leveling them up and raids and stuff so much easier because you just have one set of gear you just transfer across characters. So they're able to level up a lot quicker, a lot easier. But obviously you just get stuck in one style of play. Um, I enjoy having one of each character just because of the, the utility I have. Um, I can... I can play as any class I want, you know, all gear, every exotic I get is never redundant. Um, you know, you can imagine if you've got three hunters, if you end up getting titan bits of exotic gear, it's it's just going to get destroyed for shards, it's not going to be beneficial for anyone. Um, I don't know whether this is a guy that tried to add me or something, but I'm just going to have a bit of a dance. 
Uh, anyway, guys, that has been my level 32 Warlock. I know I didn't do a level 31 because I still haven't done the Vault of Glass with my Warlock. He was behind, and then the DLC came out, and then he got a little boost up to 30 and 32 without the Vault of Glass gear. So this is to kind of make up for that. Um, you know, please leave a like and a comment. Please share this video as well if this has helped you or shown you a decent warlock build and you want to share it with friends and stuff that's cool um and please subscribe for future destiny content anyway i've been alex arcs i've been showing off my warlock um and i will catch you guys in my next video uh, bye